I get the feeling that there is something nasty at the bottom of this. Probably some manner of fight. Not that I'm not looking forward to it, mind you. But my senses are tingling. <laughs> Boss senses are tingling. I mean, they're signaling pretty hard, honestly. All right, heading down this time. And I'm probably, once again, woefully underprepared for it. Mm, we'll see. I have lightning, air, and ice magic. And sleep, in case that becomes useful. to click a button to open a door. <laughs> Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides, Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Damn it! Our homes and stealing our shit! Doing crimes! <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> Government uh, composite! I don't get it! Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple! <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation. For damages! Oh yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you no when somebody else We haven't I am all about these idiots, yeah, but I also hate them. We were just passing through. It's like they walked from the set of the oh, second like Mad Max story. movie. It's great. Okay, what do you want? Yeah. Nothing but our due recompense. That's all. <laughs> due recompense! Do recompense! Do, do recompense! Uh, no shit for brains! Do recompense! It's like uh God. it's like uh, <laughs> also, yeah, once again, ignoring the giant sword on... Ah, never mind. Oh my god, what is this remix? They are stealing my gill. Oh my. So it's my turn? That's it. Need more magic. What if? I think you need more sleep. We put these people to sleep. Get your money back to the store. Yep. But now we're gonna have to start worrying about thief enemies. And I completely forgot to assess them. I'm sure we'll get another chance. Whoops. That remix though was Shit, let's get the hell out of here! Who are you guys who don't leave me? I'm coming! Was that the actual fight theme? I legitimately did not recognize that remix. Were you listening? Uh, no, I, I hopped into it specifically to hear that. I was like, what even is that? It's a random question, remix of... Why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. Uh, I forget which theme it is. You don't want to. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No, not really. Oh, okay. Hmm. Huh? What 
we got here? Okay. Assess, please. God damn it. I'll take care of them. Keep this fire. One more shot. Mind backing off a bit. Okay. Can you take over for me? Okay. Oh. Go on. Okay. Hmm. So that so profoundly weird introduction to the bandits, but okay. I'll take it. Getting stomped on. Like, literally stomped on. I'm honestly kind of baffled and amazed. <laughs> It's only for a little bit, but give me Carbuncle. Well, amazement. Thanks for coming to help. They're kind of goblin-y, yeah. Never again. suitably insane. And we got another crane puzzle now with two hands. Yay. Good times. Giant robot high five. I mean, yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it? Hopefully we don't get ambushed. To prevent accidents, you cannot switch arms while the current arm is carrying a load. Okay, so... Wow, this thing is... the far platform. But... And this thing is actually doing something that's probably OSHA com compliant. Alright, so first off, put the container up there. So that Aerith can get to that materia. that blue thing? That's a materia pickup that I can't reach, but Aerith can if I put her on this hand. Mm -hmm. But then I've got to figure out how to get Aerith over to the far platform. Which I think involves putting that platform down on the floor and then putting picking up Aerith, putting her on the, that platform, then picking her up with the other hand. Okay, it's pretty simple, actually. <laughs> ah. 
Got me thinking of an industrial version of moss. Magnify. Gotcha. Hmm. What is magnify and how do I make it work for me? All right, switching arms. I will find out as soon as I can access the menu again. Oh, no, come on. How do I thread the needle? No? I can't get that far? Do I have to... what? Oh... I can't just... it can't go lower than that, so I have to pick up both containers. Ugh. Wow. So which means I also have to get Aerith down back to the ground floor, so that, that I, I can pick up the container and move it. Uh, why am I being punished for just wanting materia? <laughs> right. I just it, wanted it, infinite power. What's wrong with that? Curse your hubris for which the game kept wanting to give you. <laughs> Curse the game for dangling the sparklies in front of you. Yeah. Now get off, Aerith. I have puzzling to do. No, you cannot make the arms high five because they reset back to their original position. Yeah. Hmm. Jane. No robo high five for Spud. Nope. All right. And then. Unlike Yuffie, I don't want all the materia for Wutai. I just want it for me. <laughs> all right. Down we go. Cloud. Put Yuffie on the double stack of the containers, then use the other arm to move her over to the platform, and we win. Did you just Don't call Aerith Yuffie? Yeah, I yeah, did. He, yeah, he did. <laughs> That's the game's real plot twist. Alright, uh, ban away. Topic turned to Yuffie, and I was very tired of this, so wasn't really thinking before I used my words. <laughs> it's okay. I will All right, tell we done. Aerith if you will. <laughs> Don't tell Aerith I called her Yuffie. Thanks for the lift. I'll have that ladder down for you in a sec. Yuffie, who's that? Sounds optional. I'm almost certain it won't be optional here, or in the next chapter of the remake. Unless they're that gutsy. That went pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> huh? Wait a minute, did you just... Nope. <laughs> 
Oh, am I missing Don't like worry. a we'll be on the same page treasure down time. here? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? I wonder whose like, idea what it was writing wise to be like the theme for this dungeon is that Aerith and Cloud are too awkward to high five. <laughs> now that's a meeting I would have loved to get on just to see it. They're probably based on two of the programmers. What is this so stun coming turn? from? Go on. That's that. Oh, you'll see. Good night. It's like one of them has a cattle prod or something. This one's for you. I think we're almost done. One more shot. We made it. Smell the fresh air. All right. Well, time to say goodbye, I guess. I mean, yeah, I know it was a high ten, but like, Cloud was just going for the five earlier. <laughs> Cloud, up top. We can do it. Come on, uh... Cloud. <laughs> Stop. Why did the hold meter take that long? It was that there awkward. Is. The gate to <laughs> yeah. Seven. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on. You don't get a say in this cloud. <laughs> you know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <sighs> Alright, time for the Zach conversation. No spoilers. So cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. I mean, the the conversation in the original really? mentioned Zach. I think. Really? I, I know. I'm making fun of a bunch of idiots I was talking to Just earlier in the week. The same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. What's his name? I probably know him. Uh, are you okay? Wow. Uh, Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look so that's how they do that. Not back. Hmm. She said if we can't hear without going wonky? Yeah, because... Yeah. I mean, he is all kinds of messed up at this point. Hello, hidden treasure. <laughs> With a bottle of ether. Come on. Come on. The high ether. Also. Oh, can I actually just, like, go into this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's I good. can't believe they correctly anticipated that someone would want to slide down the slide. Right? 
they were absolutely correct. Oh my goodness. They probably saw all the people complain about that in the first game. Can't slide, zero out of ten. I mean, yeah, the sword was also clipping into the structure, but whatever. Who cares? Who cares? That's nitpick. No one wants Cloud's sword to actually scrape on things except the one time where it was really funny, but <laughs> ten out of also ten. kind Best of dramatic. Remake. It's like, oh wait, this thing's as tall as he is. This won't take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Wanna get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. You gonna be okay getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <sighs> <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. Well, uh, gotcha. Cloud torn between his love triangle. Guess this is it then. Ready? Mm -hmm. Not yet. No. Aw, you big softy. Gonna miss me? No, I just have to jump on these tires some more and go down the slide one more time because when am I ever gonna come back here? <laughs> right? The love, tri the love triangle, cloud, his sword, and the air. If I do this 20 more times, okay. I'm sure there'll be a secret that'll let me skip to part two of the remake. <sighs> and before cl Spud clips out of the world and ends up outside Midgar. <laughs> I mean, it's... With all the stuff going on, it is impressive I haven't slid down to the sub-ocean yet. Also, yeah, we're probably not going... We're not actually, like, parting ways with Aerith just yet. Probably. But... I'm really digging this playground, though. Like, actually. <laughs> Also, I feel like this is, like, the exact same place, like, swing set that's in Children's Park in Kamurocho. Or very similar, at least. Mm. Hey, what's that? Yakuza. Oh, okay. I should have guessed. <laughs> Alright. Shall we? Let us progress. Yeah. God damn it, I already heard you 30 times, microwave. I'm coming. Yeah! Tifa? Hello. Cloud, you're alive. I thought we'd lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. Yep, I picked Sporty. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently that decision affects what Tifa's dress looks like here. Oh no you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. It's not a bad she choice. Handle the likes of him. Yeah, no, it's. Uh -uh. I had to pick one. What? No, Corneo. <laughs> it doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. I'd imagine you had to bone it up really hard to really uh, have something that she'd look crap in. Yeah. Come on. 
Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on! Okay. And the gates of Mordor are closed. Yep. All right. Good check. Off to Wall Market. Come on, Cloud. We gotta hurry. Time for the side Probably. questing we we've, we've all been waiting for. I, mean, I think. Yeah. Switch to fire. Whether we were waiting or not. I mean, I think I have to get to the moment at least, right? Or maybe we save that for the marathon tomorrow. Just do all a wall market. Yeah, that might be a good thing to start it off with. Let's, uh, going forward, quest for a good place to stop. Hey there. Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? Chocobo cowboys. Your <laughs> can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl in your... I see nothing. Yes. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what she look like? Well... She's in great shape? She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's that was in question? <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got <laughs> a bit of a crush. Hate to break Wait, was that? Kid, but it's gonna be a long while. <laughs> was that also a decision point? Again. What do you mean? Probably. She's a real pretty. Aerith seemed to take particular notice of how we answered that question. Tifa was chosen as a I think I. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Cornell. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes. I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. All right, we are now heading for the Don Carneo quest. Yep. Welcome to Wall Market. As an aside, I'd love that guy to narrate something in this game. Welcome to Wall yeah. Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cole. Yeah, honestly, Let's I go. wouldn't be against a narrator in this at all. Oh, this is going to be extremely Yakuza, extremely quick. We're now in the red light district. Yeah. I mean, isn't there at least a couple of things in the red light district, specifically in Yakuza games, every time? Yeah, I mean, it's this, it's literally the same district as the main hub. You two. Yes, you. Enough you neon to get a tan. Yeah. We have the perfect room for a sweet-looking couple like you. This guy's voice, what? How much? How much? Cloud! <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. Oh, this... This might be too much to just, like, jump into all at once. <laughs> I think I gotta save this. The soundtrack has also taken a turn for the much sillier. <laughs> which is great. 
Yeah, I think I want to start up bright and early Saturday morning getting straight into this. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh, yeah. Let, let's check the magnifying material we got. Oh, yeah. Forgot you got that. <laughs> Magnify. Expands the range of spells. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. So. Distance. Chaining. Here's your all. It does ch it does kind of change uh, like d decrease the effect by a good portion until you rank up magnify but this allows you to cast chain magic chain lightning and fire and all that good stuff mm -hmm. in exchange for a slight power debuff t buff it works with cure too oh all right we found all we did it <laughs> yay well, we're not taking off it's... this materia until it divides. Oh my gosh. Aerith with her, like, area double cast in this thing should be great. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> A whole new yeah. world. I mean, anyone with magnify, she can cast the ward down anywhere on anyone, mm -hmm. and they can use it. Double cast mag. oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> this sounds like something you need to practice with. Yep. And since we're heading into an area that probably has a lot of human thug type enemies, we're probably going to want to do chain fire. Yep. But, uh. Actually, let's go ahead and. Just put that on cloud. Why not? Or, better yet. Uh. I don't know, actually, in terms of magic strength, uh, well, magic magic attack, actually, Earth has a bit more. So, we'll keep... Well, actually, we can do both. We can put Elemental Fire on uh, Cloud and do Magnify Fire mm. on Aerith. We'll give her the, t the level 2 fire and give Cloud the level 1 fire. Sorry, I'm I'm struck by the. There's whistling on this track. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> the town that never sleeps. Yeah, we're we're going to want a lot of time to savor, Wall Market. It never sleeps because so. of all the neon. So I think I think that's going to be the plan. We'll break here and come back to it Saturday, starting uh, I'm gonna say well, this will be nine hours from 10 Pacific to 7 Pacific. Yeah, I think that'll be the general plan for the marathon. I've already got supplies and snacks and lunch and stuff, so that... Potion energy drinks. Yeah. <laughs> got plenty of stuff so that I can take regular breaks during it. Thinking like every 90 minutes I'll take, or every 80 minutes I'll take 10 minutes off. Speaking whistling songs, mentioning Deadly Premonition. Yeah, not my kind of game, but yeah, I watched a full Let's Play of that, and yeah, that's. There's a whistling track in there, alright, that just. It's everywhere. Oh, the anyway, game. Anyway, that. Yeah, Deadly Premonition, the game, yeah. <laughs> 
anyway, yeah. that is going to be our broadcast day today. I said it was going to be a short one. Tomorrow I'll be resting up for the big day, and then Saturday, uh, all day with this. We're just going to try and get through nine, maybe even twelve hours with it. Just try to get through a whole bunch of the game to try and catch up. At any rate, see you around. Yeah.